I'm still kind of like, I'm just getting into working out and stuff like that. Even in quarantine, I've been keeping up with my stuff, okay? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Excuse the pajamas. So I've decided to niche my channel. I've niched my channel now to mostly being about fitness and health and nutrition. Today's video is going to be a video about my fitness journey. I think that's a great place to start in terms of the foundation for the direction that I'm taking my channel in. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me and explain my fitness journey. So let's get started. So first I want to give you guys a little bit of background pertaining to where I kind of started in terms of my fitness journey. So basically I was not the most athletic person I would say and when I say that I don't mean that I didn't partake in fitness because I did. I took ballet for a few years. I did tap. I did different styles of dance. I did basketball. I did gymnastics. My basketball coach often joked about how many different teams I uh, tried out for. Soccer training camp in the summer. Softball camp. Ultimately, I did track. So I've definitely partaken in fitness. I'm, I've not ever really been interested in it. When I did basketball, it was because I didn't want to take PE. Gymnastics was more of an interest, but I don't think I realized that it had to do a lot with conditioning and being strong and such too. I mostly just didn't like exercising. <laughs> My extent of self-discipline was a lot of times me doing sit-ups on my floor. If it wasn't to fulfill some other particular quota, fitness for me has been about weight loss. I was doing a lot of side presses and kickbacks and little things that I saw some like influencers doing. I followed people like Nikki Blackader, Jasmine Gonzalez, Whitney Simmons. Me and my best friend, we decided to do a 72 day gym challenge. We showed up every single day, rain, sleet, snow. We showed up rain sleet snow we were consistent we committed to this and guys that's how you create habits literally scientifically it takes i believe between 21 and like 63 days to create a habit so that's kind of the mindset that i had around it okay i believe that in 72 days scientifically speaking i should be at the very least more likely to continue this as a lifestyle that's literally how you change mindsets and how you change behaviors you have to create new habits and and that's how you create a habit is consistently doing something over and over and over again until your brain inevitably creates a pattern around it so basically every day we started with with a treadmill warm up. This is when I was warming up. I, I have to admit, I struggle with warming up sometimes. I just find it very boring. I just, warming up is so boring. During this time, we started every workout with a warm up on the treadmill. At the beginning of this challenge, we still did a lot of body weight workouts. We were still doing a lot of kickbacks. So we were still doing a lot of workouts that maybe weren't the best for muscle growth. We also always did a lot of abductor exercises. You almost always saw all of your favorite influencers on the abductor machine. So all in all, we started with basic movements, but after a while, we actually started to try and work on weightlifting. We were learning how to do chest presses and shoulder presses, and we were learning how to do squats, and I was using the Smith machine, and I was using weights, and I was working on getting stronger. So, one second, I dropped my pen. Oh yeah, <laughs> I changed my hair. So to kind of summarize what I was saying, I was finally taking fitness seriously. I was in it for myself and I was in it for myself in a, in a good way. I was definitely a little thicker and so I kind of already had gotten comfortable with my body being in a certain state. There is a highlight to it and that is that you start to do things in a way that is 
for long term because you're not feeling pressured or like you you need to lose weight or you need to look fit for the summer for three months from now for two days from now for a person for you know any any particular reason and really this is the kind of thing that you have to keep practicing in order to see the results that you want to see that's the part that everyone continuously kind of misses the mark on is that your favorite influencers they've built these bodies over years your favorite entrepreneur or business person has built whatever they have over years where they are now is not where they were even 10 years ago even if they were still super rich and famous they've still succeeded since then and it takes time it takes time to grow a flower you know so for at least three years i've kind of developed this self-driven attitude toward it even in quarantine I've been keeping up with my stuff, okay? And I couldn't say that I would have been able to do that had I not had the foundation that I already had, had I, had I not made a habit of these things or a habit to me. So it's not like something that I'm trying to arbitrarily get myself to do at any given time. So here we are again. <laughs> I'm so glad to be sharing this journey with you guys. I think that it's like a really cool thing for me to be able to document. You know, when you're growing up, <laughs> to get real serious, okay? When you're growing up, I think you think you're gonna be a lot of things and I think you think you're gonna do a lot of things. Sometimes you can really surprise yourself with like who you can become. I really don't think I saw myself becoming someone who is sincerely interested in fitness. I'm just so glad to be sharing this journey with you guys and I think it's a great foundation for this channel. Yeah, so I'm gonna go. Wait a second, pause. If you haven't seen my last video, go watch it. It's a Bowen T haul. Bowen T has super cute activewear and if you're gonna start a fitness journey, if you're gonna be along on my fitness journey, you need the gear. They're super cute stuff if you're into that sort of thing. One way you're gonna possibly know, possibly, that you're into it is by watching my last video. Okay? <laughs> Comment down below if you guys are starting a fitness journey for 2021. If you're interested in hearing more about making fitness a lifestyle, the different effects that muscle building can have on your body, because sis, I gotta tell you, you can be 150 pounds and look like this, and you can be 150 pounds and look like this, and that's real. It might be something that interests you, and if that's the case, then comment down below and let me know so that I can make more videos about it, which I'm probably gonna do anyway. So. <laughs> like this video to let me know that you like it and subscribe to my channel so that you can definitely stay in the circle of information that is this channel okay <laughs> now i'll see you set this one is actually a set that i got the bloom set and i got it in the green color i was so surprised at how cute these sets are it's kind of like sometimes you know you have like the frilly sock and they're kind of